What's scary? The spider. <laughs> That's not that scary, Sophie. Good uh, morning, guys. Welcome oh to today's video. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's horrifying. I know. It's this monster sized web. All right, well, what are we going to do? Everybody look away. Oh, sadly, he decided to move. He moved his home. We carry them to their bed. We'll be back, chickies, to let you guys out, but we carry them to their bed each day because if we don't, we can't catch them. <laughs> If we don't, they run to the swing. Yeah. Sophie sits on the swing with them a few times a day. So if we don't carry them, then hi. Oh, why are your feet all poopy? <laughs> yeah, farm Look girl's face. She is farm girl problem. She's gonna be huge. Why are your feet all poopy? Yeah. So we picked a breed of duck that would be big. Hold on. Hold on. The there we go. Ew, take it. Anyway. First thing they do every single morning. She's like, I've been waiting all night. Climb in the pond, climb in their little pond, and have a bath. I'm considering putting a pool in the horses' field. What do you guys think? Like, I really, really, really want to do it. I think that the baby and Storm, especially, I would. I think we'll go out there one day and Freddie will be. I think we go out one day and honey would be out there in the water. Do you guys think we should do it? If there's a heat wave again, I'm going to do it. Shoot, I was going to bring my camera down, my professional camera, and take pictures of the goats because this backdrop Don't is so pretty. Right What'd you do? I couldn't open the door. Yeah. Hi, Ollie! Where's everybody? Where's everybody? truly is their favorite spot and it like is just so pretty for photos but I also want to tell you that these goat or that these feeders that are all surrounding this barn are amazing for the goats Look, they just walks up to you oh <laughs> hello blossom Today we have rotting lessons at the other barn. Last week it got canceled because of rain and today it's supposed to rain again. It's supposed to be severe thunderstorms, just like we had severe thunderstorms this morning. I plan to move everything around in here today. Well, not everything, but I'm gonna put the fridge over there somewhere. Do you have a spot you prefer it or you want me to just find my own spot? So every morning I make, I make goals for myself and today I wanna to clean up the tack room and I want to spend time taking pictures like of our goats and of our animals and just enjoying our property. I keep finding rocks everywhere though, just like a random rock. It's from Molly. Honey would choose Sophie all the time. Like all her herd is over there eating grass, but she would choose Sophie always. <laughs> I like how she just sticks it out front. What else can she do? Oh, that's amazing! I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me break in your sweet. Gino's getting his feet soaked. But don't you try to call me So someone mentioned that all this grass is being eaten alive by the horses, and it is, but it wasn't very high when we moved here. 
this is the, these are the fields that the goats were in and they ate it right down to nothing. But I want to show you guys our options. And you probably are like, we saw it already, Laura. But there's a possibility that we could open this field Come on. and just leave it open all the time. It's all fenced in, so don't think Yeah, it. like everything in this property is fenced in. Do you mean that field? Yeah. So and then they can have this area, but Sam cuts it, so I don't really want them to have it. They could come out here, no problem. Sam cuts it, and I don't want them eating grass that's just freshly been cut. Um, but also, there's this section over here of old wood and an old tree, and I could just see Storm or Honey climbing on that. Because I saw a storm climbing on the rocks one day. <laughs> Hi, honey. But technically, oh. Come on. <laughs> She's staying with me. But technically, we can leave this door open and then open this gate. Basically, we can just leave these two gates open and then the horses can come into this field. And then this field leads into another field, another large field, separate from the goat field. We are not running out of grass anytime soon. There are a lot of weeds in this grass, though. Which is kind of good because then it could slow the horses down. Uh-oh. Gracie's like, my baby, my baby! <laughs> it even gives us an opportunity to like switch up horses so that some horses could come in here and then other horses could go in the other fields. We haven't really explored this field before. But this could even be their fall field. So they're gonna go through that grass really quickly. And if they do, we have options. Wow. This shelter is really prickly. <laughs> but this is the shelter that they would have. Another thing I like about this farm is that the horses won't get bored, if that makes sense. Like being able to be rotated into m multiple different fields over the seasons. Honey. It's so good for their mental health, I feel like. Honey. Bye, Mom. Okay. Yesterday I said I could probably trail ride around this property for 30 minutes, but it's probably way longer than that. Like, it's probably literally an hour and a half at least. But one thing I'm really excited about is photo ops for our grandkids. She's like a goat. She likes to find her for our family this fall, I'm really excited to do photos. Sophie doesn't think that she's we're gonna get her out of this field. Come on, honey. It's time to go home to your mama. She loves that field. <laughs> Do you want to bring him over here for a walk? Just watch me break it. get dirty in this field. Look, she looks like a fjord. <laughs> Doesn't she look like a fjord? All right, so while we sit here and watch Gabby try and drag her horse's butt around the field <laughs> over and over and over, he keeps stopping at every horse he likes. <laughs> Doesn't want to move forward. I get that. He wants to be with his friends but anyways before we get moving with today's video because I want to go and do the things that I said every day I make a list of things that I want to do like important things and then non important things so today I really want to hang up some blinds in our house and try and make it feel a little bit more homey and then I also want to finish our tack room get it all the stuff that we just the last stuff that we brought over I want to get it put away um, so but before we do that, I want to tell you guys about my ride with Penny yesterday. I told you guys already a little, but we went like in a whole new area she's never been before. We went and she was a leader. I hate that she likes to be the leader. So we're out there and Laura does not like to be the leader. And I got myself like all worked up because I don't like to be the leader. I like some, I like to follow and Penny likes to lead. But anyways, so I just sing to her. I just sing 
and go slow and just like calm myself. I've learned how to calm myself by singing and it calms her and there was not a single attitude. She didn't have a single attitude. She didn't put her head down. She didn't try and like pretend to buck me off, which is what she does. She didn't throw a fit. She did nothing wrong. She's not one step wrong. She didn't rush. Penny rushes on any trail that she's not familiar with or that she doesn't know. Not a single rush. I feel like this property is so far back and hidden that you can't, that it's so quiet and peaceful out here like it's just peaceful where we were riding there were no cars there was no like energy going on around us it was just peace and it, I feel like that's why but anyways I was really proud of her and I was really proud of me because what you probably couldn't see was that I was working on all the things that Brandon taught me at my last lesson and what he taught me what I think he taught me he taught me where to sit in my saddle he taught me not to worry about my saddle because my saddle fits her fine and he taught me where to put my bum and he taught me I think he taught me that your belly button goes to your spine and that you put your shoulders back you stick your boobs out I think is basically yeah, yeah that's what I was doing and it felt really good and it and, sh and I don't know if like me doing that and it being the right thing I'm supposed to be doing I don't know if that's what made her so calm and all the other times I was like perching on her and not riding the way she needed me to ride what? Yeah. Is it going to rain tonight? Yeah. Heidi loved going out in that field. She did. I think horses are naturally curious and like to explore. And now she's way down there. <laughs> that little tiny thing. All right, last thing because I'm procrastinating getting to work. But the last thing I wanted to tell you is that I always say that Storm wants a friend. Like he just wants a friend that understands him and that loves him and that he can bond with and that he can like attach to. And it's Gracie. And all this time, she was fighting him all the time because she was trying to keep the baby away from him but over time something happened and now they're close and they're often inseparable they spend a lot of time together and she gives storm peace so i'm happy for gracie because gracie has always needed a friend and storm needs a friend and i love that for them rain this morning made it super humid and super hot out but um my goal today one of, goal number one is complete so i'm going to show you guys so sam brought back a whole bunch of stuff from the other house and it is done where you don't have to bring back any more stuff so i just want to show you guys uh this is the finished product it's not beautiful but it's functional and it works for us so i got everything out of here I cleaned up all Sam's section. Gabby's taking those boots with her today. Cleaned up all Sam's section. Cleaned up all the stuff that was outside the door. Put the hoses in there. They're a mess, but he's going to have to figure out something to do with that. But clean this all up. I don't know. I can't remember if I showed the before. And then um, barn fridge number one is complete. Usually what we do with our barn fridge is I keep a bunch of freezies and stuff in the top, but there's nothing there now. Uh, we had freezies I don't know where they went um, and then we keep water in here for like when we're riding and stuff so this is it this is our finished tack room complete with fridge and Sam's storage Sam's overflow his area over on that side of the barn this side of the barn is us and then we have like all of our other storage back behind there it's been a godsend this this part of the barn and our little feed room over there and then our little mats the Sam's going to figure out how we can have horses. I think even if somebody has to hold the horse for the farrier or for the vet, uh, we have mats in here. The breeze, the breeze coming in from outside is glorious. So over here, this is another job for another day. I have to figure out where we're going to put all this stuff. This is where we decided to put our poop pile. It just works for us. It's the only place we could find. It's unfortunate that we have to have a poop pile. I found the lost city. I'm going to have to draw you a map find it all right why don't you Lost take us there city of many people take us there go on draw you a map and you can find it so the only thing i have left in this barn that i have to rehome is this fridge and it's going down to the other barn don't want to forget this section here this is where we have like a bunch of all of our important stuff in our blankets i'm gonna get the girls to help me take this down to the other barn so sam cut this for me let me show you i don't know how to get in here I don't know that I showed you guys this. So the one thing that is amazing about this farm is that even though it has 100 million gates, um, this this farm, once you go past the gates, you can't get out. Like no animal that can't climb can get into this farm. It's incredibly safe. 
for all the animals that we have here. But anyway, do you guys remember this was all those big, huge, awful weeds? It turns out goats don't eat them, or at least our goats weren't eating them, those purple weeds. So he, he cleaned it all up for me so that I can take that fridge down there. Usually we keep this closed like this and we close off that area so that if the goats ever got out, they'd be closed in. I'm actually gonna take that fridge down there in just a second, I'm gonna get one of the girls to help me. But Sam is convinced that I need to see this lost village of little people. I do not know what that means, but I gotta go figure it out. Hey! One more thing on my list though, was to get blinds hung up. It looks so good. Our blinds from our other house fit perfectly here. Blinds, 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 blinds. That's awesome. And I want to put two of these upstairs in our bedroom because the ones in our room have green and I hate green. Um, and then one for Sophie's room. And then we have one set of blinds left. Show me the map. All right, it's got a very good We map. got the map. Let's so we're see. on the driveway. Go down the driveway. Did it say turn down, down, turn right, right here? All right, I'm following Sophie. Oh, we see it. Huh. There's a gargoyle. So it's a little village of. <laughs> this is neat though. Look at this little area here. When I was a little girl, we had woods behind our house and we used to play house up there. Don't touch them. We let them live. Is that what dad said? Just don't touch them? That's what I well, we should pick them up Ugh. and reset them. I like them. I said we should move them and put them in the garden. Oh. Yeah, they're adorable. I mean, they're adorable. Like there are two gargoyles back there. They're not so adorable. Maybe this is like a, a burial ground or something. That's a cute little old basket, but. Oh, they're adorable. And the bunny. And then a little bunny with no ears. Uh, oh. And it is heavy. I like that because that's like a little water thing for birds. Adorable. I'm gonna throw this out though. No, keep it. No, it's all wrecked. Super cute. Let's go. I was at least close. <laughs> if the girls were little, it would be so much more fun to find that. We could do this. Molly found a stick though. Don't you know that you're beautiful?